Hello and welcome. That was awesome. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that in, by the way. Hello, my name is Gareth Evans, and welcome to another guitar tutorial. Um, Glad guitar tutorial. This is Hello by Adele. If you hadn't guessed by my um, my pun there at the start, um, this is a fingerstyle version of the song, fully fingerstyle. If you want to go and check out um, this version, um, I kind of played a little bit of it there, but the whole thing. Go and watch the whole video. A lantation on the screen, somewhere on there now. Click it and go and check it out if you want to be able to play it like this. And then you can go back here and learn it absolutely free, note for note. Next up, if you do want to get hold of the guitar tabs, again, absolutely free, click the annotation that's on your screen now, or a link in the top of the description, didn't mention that before, there's a link in the description for everything I'm talking about during this intro um, down there. If you haven't got annotations enabled, your link in the description. So the tabs, uh, absolutely free in the description there. If you're looking for a slightly quicker way to learn this um, arrangement, uh, tabs is a bit too hard and a note for note tutorial is a bit too easy. Um, then there's another option, guitar tabs on screen videos that I produce now. Check that one out, um, annotation on screen now. <clears throat> Again, down in the description for a link if your annotations aren't enabled. A couple of other things to mention before I get started. If you are interested in supporting this free content, you can get over to patreon.com forward slash Gareth Evans. It's a place where you can support me on a monthly basis and I give you awesome rewards in return. Um, guitar lessons, early access to tabs, early access to tabs, videos and things like that. Check out link in the description or an annotation on screen now. Um, one other thing, <clears throat> people are asking me what these are. These are Alaska picks. Uh, finger picks that allow you to pick upwards and strum downwards at the same time. Check them out. I'll probably do a review video at some time in the future if you guys are interested. Otherwise, link in the description um, for them. And lastly, I want to mention the guitar strings that I'm using today. These are Elixir guitar strings. Uh, these are my number one choice in guitar, guitar strings ever since I first tried them. A few reasons. Firstly, they last for absolutely ages. Um, they really do um, make a economical sense in the long run um, because of how long they last. The tone on them is fantastic. Um, you, you, they, it does last for ages, which is why you don't have to change your strings. And lastly, um, the feel and, and just how silky smooth they are to play. Uh, they really are hands down my favorite guitar string, which is why it does bring me absolute pleasure to bring you these guitar lessons in association with Elixir strings. <clears throat> okay, enough talking, I'll get all that, all that out of the way now. Um, lastly, capo you're going to need on the first fret of your guitar for this arrangement. If you haven't got a capo, you do need to buy one if you're going to be um, trying to play advanced finger picking type stuff. It ten, you can pick one up for $10 um, or whatever, $15, 10 bucks. Um, they are very inexpensive and if you want to be a decent guitar player, you're going to need the equipment, so pick one up. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the tabs now. They're going to be running along the bottom of the screen. I'm going to explain to you note for note uh, this arrangement. Okay, bars one and two, it's pretty simple. So, um, looking at this, this shape here, you've got like an E minor shape, open six, second fret on the fifth, second fret on the fourth, fourth fret on the third string. Okay, that's the first shape, and we play it like an arpeggio or a finger roll, I like to call it sometimes. You're playing each string in quick succession six, five, four, three, and two, okay? You do it slowly, do it fast. Okay, arpeggiated chord, I think we call that. So from there, what we do here is we lift our index finger if you've got that barred on the fourth and fifth string, second fret, and you just Place on the fifth fret, sorry, fifth string, second fret. The middle finger comes into the third fret of the sixth string. So you've got third on the sixth, second on the fifth, open fourth, fourth still on the third string, and that's your next chord. Again, like a, the arpeggio effect. Next. The next two chords. 5th fret on the 5th string with your little finger, 4th fret on the 4th, 2nd fret on the 3rd, okay, and open 2nd. Sorry, you don't play the open 2nd, sorry, it's just the 3 notes 
in this chord, um, arpeggiated again. Okay. <clears throat> and the last chord, third fret on the fifth, second fret on the fourth, open third. So it's from here. Okay, once you've got them full chords, the only thing left is, is the rhythm. You'll notice that um, time seconds just four fours, four beats in a bar. That's going to complicate things if I explain like that. The best way to think about it is you, if you count to four, you play an accord on a one, one, two, three, four. You're playing another next chord in between two and three, so it's two and three, okay? One and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. If you get it, it's one and two and three and four and so it's on the first beat and in between the second and third beat. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Just count like I'm doing one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and try and get on the first beat and then on the and in between two and three. <clears throat> Enough about that. That's the first two bars pretty much covered. Apart from the end of bar two, you got that note in there, which leads into bar three. So this is how it goes. And what I've played to you there is a preview of bars three through bar six, okay? <clears throat> so from the end of bar two, it kind of belongs to the beginning of bar three, but it's, it's that that movement there. So what you're doing is you're barring your index finger on the second fret of the third, fourth, and sorry, third, fourth, and fifth string. You're playing the third string, hammering up to the fourth fret, okay? As you make that hammer, you're playing the sixth string and the fourth string at the same time, fourth string fretted on the second fret with the bar, okay? Okay? So that's the beginning of bar three, and then you move to the third fret on the sixth string, open, fourth string. And then two strokes on the second fret of the third string straight after, which completes bar three. Okay, into bar four. Okay, that's bar four, so bar four. Fifth fret on the fifth string, fourth fret on the fourth string, here. And then move each of those positions down two frets. Third fret on the fifth, second fret on the fourth. Okay, and to finish off, open, second, and fourth fret on the third string to finish that bar four, so it's That's bars three and four covered, and all in all, we should have this. Okay, hopefully you got that. If you didn't, if I'm going too fast, just replay the video, and it will save me a lot of time. All the information's there, you just need to replay it. We're gonna move on now to bars five and six. It plays like this. So, um, as we finish bar four like this, next, back to the kind of E minor shape again. Open six, second fret on fourth, followed by two strokes on the fourth fret of the third string, which it should be there anyway at the end of bar four. Next, you lift off the index finger off the second fret on the fourth, 
bring the middle finger to the third fret on the sixth. So you've got third fret on the sixth, open four, fourth fret on the third, and play the finger roll there. Followed by a single note on the third string. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, two strokes on the second fret of the third, and then open third. So it's. That's the whole of bar five, like I've just described. Okay, bar six now. That's what we're playing here. So we begin here, second fret on the third, fourth fret on the fourth, fifth fret on the fifth. Do that finger roll, five, four, three. Followed by open two, and then third string straight after. And then down to this kind of sheet C position again, second fret on the fourth, third fret on the fifth. Pinch on five and four, kind of arpeggiated. And then open three. And to finish off bar six, two open third string, and then second fret on the third string. Like so. So hold on bar six. Okay, and that completes bar six. Bar five and six together should play like this. Okay, awesome if you've got that so far, well done. I'm gonna um, go back right now, back now right to bar three. I'm gonna play three through six, should play like this. Okay, um, I won't play the intro too because that's pretty simple. Okay, you get that now. So it's one through six has been covered. Next, we're going to look at bars seven through ten, and they play like this. Sounds complicated, I'm gonna break it down for you right now, so don't worry. Bar seven and eight to begin then. That's how they play. So leading on from the end of bar six. That's the end of bar six, so bar seven. That's how we start, fourth fret on the third string, second fret on the fourth string, open six as a finger roll, like that. And what we do here is we do two pull-offs on that third string. We pull off to the second fret, and then pull off to open in the same movement. Okay, it's not easy this. And if you do struggle with it, just play single notes. finger strength isn't quite um, there yet, then you can play just single notes. It's, it's an easy way to do it. Followed up with third fan six open fourth. I'll pitch it, okay? Okay, next. That sequence there, which is the end of bar seven, beginning of bar eight. Okay, it's useful to think of them in as one section. So start off with the open third and hammer up to the second fret, followed by two more strokes on the third string. 
Okay, so that next is the fifth fret on the fifth, fourth fret, and fourth, which we're kind of used to by now. Okay, and what you do now is you hammer up. If you're using your index finger for that hammer up at the beginning, little finger and middle finger for these two positions here, you should have the middle finger free to do this hammer up here, which comes in at the fourth fret on the third string. Okay, it is tricky to do this, and what I like to do, obviously, is move my middle finger right up to the end of the fret to give my middle, move my ring finger right up to the end of the fourth fret there on the fourth string to give my middle finger enough room to come in behind it on the fourth fret of the third string, if that makes sense. If you do have trebles, you could just play the open second string, it's the same note. I think it's it's more um, like pleasing to the ear by playing a hammer up. Okay, but that's my personal preference as usual. You can play the open second if you want to. You can play it like that. Anyway, once you've got that, um, to finish off bar eight, we come to the third fret and the sec third fret on the fifth, second fret on the fourth. Play the arpeggiated um, chord there. And then three single notes on the fourth fret of the third string. Like that. And that completes bar number eight. So bar number eight, it uh, all together goes. Actually, I haven't, I haven't recapped seven and eight. So I'll play seven and eight together. It's probably easy anyway because they kind of merge into one. So it's. Okay, I'm going to play that once more just in case. Okay, so that's seven and eight covered. Next, nine and ten. Sorry. Okay, that's nine and ten. <clears throat> We begin. Okay, so it's the second fret on the fourth, fourth fret on the third, open six. As an arpeggiated chord. Okay, followed by two strikes on the third string. And then move your middle finger to the third fret on the Sixth string, lifting your index finger, you've got third fret and six, open fourth, fourth fret on the third again. You play the finger roll, six, four, three, followed by the third string again straight after. Okay, so all in all so far. Okay, after that. It's that sequence there that I've played twice. It's second fret on the third, pulled off to open. Okay. Followed by open third twice, but the second time you do the hammer back on. So it's. Like that. So that's the whole of bar nine. We've got. That's bar 10. So we start off with a finger roll 5, 4, and 3. Them strings in this position here, which we've done before. Okay. But we do that sequence straight after. I did change this. Um, so there's two ways of doing it. Um, the, the one I chose for the interpretation video is after that what we do is come to the fourth fret on the third string, play it, pull off to second, 
pull off to open. So you've got a, um, just one pluck and, th and one like triplet to it. Like that. The other way to do it is just not plucking it at all and just doing like a hammer at first and then two pull offs. Like that. Um, but that's more um, difficult to do. So um, take your pick. Like I said, I chose the. pluck and then two pull-offs for the um, interpretation. And then finish off this bar 10. Third fret on the fifth, second fret on the fourth again, open third as a finger roll. Followed by the fourth string, a single pluck on the uh, second fret. Okay, and the next note there is the second fret on the third which kind of leads into bar 11, so I won't kind of include that. Okay, let's do a quick recap then on bars nine and 10 all together. You should have this. Okay, like I said, if I'm going too fast at any point, rewind the video. Every bit of information that you need is there. You won't pick this up first time. It's that simple. If you think I'm going too fast, get frustrated with me, just don't. Just watch, rewatch the video. You don't have to do it. Nobody expects you to do this first time. Okay. Um, so let's go back to bar seven through ten, and this is how we should play. Okay, um, we have got another four bars to cover now in this um, first verse. We should move on now, bar 11 through 14. Um, begins like this. Okay. It's quite repetitive in in the positions and the movements, but the the whole sequence it's it's kind of out. So there's nothing that repeats solidly, but everything that we're doing we've used before. If that makes sense, um, in the majority, it's not not, every, not not all the time, but that's that's the common theme. So we begin bar eleven. that sequence there kind of begins in the end of bar 10 but we're going to consider it as bar 11 so um, what we do to begin is we bar our index finger across the second fret on the third and fourth string like this and we play on its own play that so we pluck the third string and we hammer up to the fourth fret as we hit the hammer up we put the fourth string and sixth string together okay after that we do a pull off and back hammer back up to the fourth so we pull off to second fret hammer back up to fourth fret on the third string Followed by third fret and sixth, open fourth. Last, uh, lastly, to finish off bar eleven, three plucks. Sorry, on the second fret of the third string, like that. Okay, so we've got and continue. That's bar 12. So bar 12 starts with fifth fret on the fifth string, fourth fret on the fourth string, and then hammer up to that fourth fret position on the third um, with the sustained note that you should have from the second fret on the third, which is at the end of bar 11. Like that. After that, third fret on the fifth, second fret on the fourth,
And then to finish off bar 12, open third, second fret and third, fourth fret and third. Okay, so we've got all in all bar 11 and 12. On to bar 13 and 14. That's that. So bar thirteen begins. Open six, second fret and fourth as a arpeggio finger roll thing. Followed by two strokes on the fourth fret of the third string. Okay. Followed by third fret and sixth, open fourth, fourth fret on the third string. We've done this before. This sequence. That's the finger roll six, four, and three, followed by three on its own straight after. Okay, so it's. Followed by two strokes on the third string, second fret, and then one stroke on the open third. And that's the whole of bar 13. Okay, so it goes. Okay, moving on, bar 14, this position again. <coughs> Excuse me. Finger roll, five, four, three. Open. Open two, and then third string again. Okay. After that, down to this position, third fret on fifth, second fret on fourth. Um, arpeggiated pinch on five and four. And then open three. So it's. To finish off 14, two open thirds and a second fret on the third. to back up 13 and 14 play like this and to back up 11 through 14 plays like this Now to bar 15 through 18, we've got this. Um, there's a lot of like, similarities between the last four bars, actually. Um, but we're going to start off bar 15. We've done this before in bar seven. Okay, that movement. The pull off from the fourth fret to the second fret to open um, on the third string with the with the usual open six and second fret and fourth. Followed by that usual position, third fret and the sixth, open fourth. I've noticed on the tabs that I've got the second fret and the fifth in there too. You can, you can use that or not. Um, I've got it in there. I should have probably deleted it. Doesn't matter, no big deal. So we've got. And then two strikes on the third string, second fret, which leads into bar 16. This thing again. Where you play the fifth fret on the fifth, fourth fret on the fourth, and hammer up to that fourth fret on the third. Which begins bar 16. And then down to the third fret on the fifth, second fret on the fourth again. Followed by this bit again. I can't kind of is almost exactly the same as bar 12. Okay? So bar 15 and 16, play like this. Okay, 
going on to bar 17 through 18, it's exactly the same as 13 and 14 what we've just done. I'm not going to go into too much detail, I'll just play it for you. Okay, the only difference is, is that at that very end there, we, after you've played, you've got duh, 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 instead of duh, duh, duh. Hopefully that makes sense to you. The first time was like this, bar 14 was this. This time, bar 18 is this. It's a very small difference, and if you play either or at any point, it's not going to be <coughs> a big deal. It's not a big deal, let's be honest. Okay, so hopefully I've described that in enough detail for you to get. If not, again, rewind the video. I'm going to recap now bars 15 through 18. You should play this. Okay, and that just about covers uh, what I'm going to cover in this lesson. I, I could play the whole thing from beginning to the end of bar 18. Um, but I think you're best off just going to watch the video, the playthrough video. It saved me some time here and um, you can get the gist of it. It's always good to try and play along too. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you did, click us a thumbs up. It really helps me produce these guitar lessons for free because it promotes my videos, lets other people find them and it makes it a lot easier for me to make a living out of doing this all for free. So I really do appreciate everyone clicking the thumbs up button. Again, if you want to get hold of the tabs free of charge, a link on the on the screen now or in the top of the description go and check them out you, you can check out my website goliathguitartutorials.com everything all the lessons are like this they're all absolutely free and um, be sure to bookmark it because it's an awesome place to learn this type of finger picking playing if you um, if you want to study this type of playing um, again you can check out my patreon page if you want to be a supporter if you want to support me and help me bring you these things um, these lessons free of charge uh, link on the screen now or down in the description do check out my other second channel um gareth, gareth evans extras there'll be a link for that on the screen too F social media facebook and twitter you can check me out and that's just about it for this lesson thanks for watching guys i will see you again in the next one until then bye for now